What's going on everyone? Crazy Russian 86 here, welcome back. This is my another video. I didn't put the matching, you know, the suit, you know, like, because it used to be a different hoodie which goes with it, I just noticed it too. But actually, looks pretty good, even though it's not really matching. But anyway, guys, I'm about to do my pull-ups, you know, and I just saw there is this guy, and he had a beautiful woman, she was dressed well, you know. Kind of wearing yoga pants and a nice shoes and she looked kind of cute with the glasses. So she started like, you know, doing some pull-ups. You know, she is a little short, I don't know how tall she is, maybe like 5'4", five, 5'5". Four, four, five. Average height for the woman, like a couple inches shorter than me. Because I'm pretty short, I'm like 5'6 and a half, as you all know. So anyway, she was trying to do it and she couldn't even do one pull-up. Then the guy came in. He started doing pull-ups like this, which is like an easier way of doing it, right? I'm doing it like this. He was doing it like this. So he did like three of them. But I noticed he was not helping himself with the legs, you know? And by the way, after I'm done with pull-ups, I'm gonna reward myself with delicious malt liquor. Drink malt liquor, only malt liquor, don't drink peas. Shouldn't be that aggressive, I'm too old for that anyway, I mean. But anyway, guys, before I'm gonna treat myself with delicious malt liquor, I'm gonna do the pull-ups. I'm a little bit sore. Like last time I did like 12 and a half, I call it 13. My last one, the 13th one, I did it like a little bit because it was really hard. I was helping myself with the legs, but it's not really. And I did pull-ups up to here, as you probably saw in my last pull-up video. So now it's uh, gonna be my pull-up slash malt liquor video we're already in two minutes so without further ado i'm just gonna get to business that's all last time i started 235 this one you know you're gonna wait a little less i'm gonna save you 30 seconds so let's go one better pull-ups too Yeah. 13 pull-ups but this time like a couple of them were actually better but I was getting really tired and I'm feeling it I was actually tired when I haven't came in here but I feel like some pull-ups I did I don't know but I feel like I did them even better than last time I did the same 13 on the last one it's kind of sucked I felt like maybe I can do one more if I really try but I was kind of getting tired I feel like right now, like the most I can do is like 13, 14 pull-ups. I don't think I'm ready for 15 yet. 15 is too difficult for me at this point. I saw this guy, he's 62 years old. Now he's probably 63. He's like reverse my, reverse my age, you know, 36, 63. You know what I'm talking about. So he has a gray beard and he said, don't let this gray beard fool you. When he used to have his business, he just sold it out a couple months ago, went to Israel. And so he was, he had like a mini gym at his store and he used to have it, which he sold in San Francisco. So I worked for him a couple days here and there, was doing some cleaning, you know, cleaning the shelves where he used to have his, I know, beautiful antique type of stuff. So. So he used to have a gym, he used to have the thing like this in his store, obviously it was small. He had like his sales counter and on this side he had this, right? He had the bar for chin-ups. So he could just like go do like 15, 16 pull-ups, talk to people, do another set of like 15, you know. And I was, I'm getting a little out of breath and I can barely do 13. I'm kind of catching up with him, but I'm not quite there yet, you know. I need to do a little bit more work, but I feel like soon 
if I will be doing my pull-ups like two, three times a week, every week, probably pretty soon I will be able to do 15. Because before I was able to do eight and 10, and now I'm on to 13, you know, so I feel like, I feel like I can do it. If I really like work hard, like two, three times a week, I can probably do like 15 pull-ups within like next couple months. I think it's actually doable, so I'm gonna work on that. But right now, since I've done the hard part, I've done the work, it's five minutes, 35 seconds on my video. So at this point, it's time for me to start drinking malt liquor. You know, drink malt liquor, only malt liquor. Once you did your workout, it's time to relax, kick back and drink some delicious malt liquor. Mickey's malt liquor, 24 ounces for your willing pleasure, guys. I don't want to go back because I want to make this video semi-professional, I guess. And I didn't take my tripod with me because I don't care. But um, I have my Doritos with me to wash it down, you know, like have a snack. After workout, it's good to have a snack. It's not really healthy. It's spicy, sweet chili. But I kind of like that type of stuff, you know, like, you know. As a matter of fact, yesterday I went to Chinese restaurant, so I ate some rice with sweet and sour chicken. It was fucking delicious. I like sweet and sour flavors, you know. And I work with somebody, you know, at home track. We have a say, similar taste when it comes to things. He said he likes Hawaiian barbecue. I like Hawaiian food, you know. Like something which is spicy and sweet, this is actually my thing, so. Mmm, don't have pineapple pizza. You know, people say that if you like pineapple pizza, you're crazy. And I like pineapple pizza. So I told that guy, you know what? Maybe you think I'm crazy, but I really like pineapple pizza. And he started telling me, you know, describing me while it's like pine pineapple pizza is actually a good thing. He said, I like pineapple pizza, I like Hawaiian barbecue. We have similar things when it comes to food. I know it is that. But that's what I like. I was in Hawaii once, back in 2019, with my mom and my aunt. I ate some food over there, it was fucking delicious. The rice was sweet, the food was sweet, they had rolls. It's like the best food I ever eaten was like Hawaiian food. So... I like it definitely better than Russian food, too. But liquor is American. And I like it better than a lot of Russian things, too. You know, I like Mexican food, African food. The only Russian thing I really like is Russian music. That's something I like. I prefer Russian music to, like, American music. But when it comes to food and stuff, I prefer American food to Russian food or Mexican food to Russian food. There are some good dishes in Russian food, like old borscht, that's really good. I would recommend that. To me, I like it, but outside of that, Russian food is not that special, you know. But Russian music is good, though, like, that's something I would recommend listening to. But when it comes to food, nah, I like Mexican food, American food. African food better. I like Asian food too, you know, that's kind of good. Chinese food. It's good. Sweet and sour stuff, spicy stuff. I kind of like that, you know. I like things which make have some kick to it, you know. Mm. 
good chips, you know, it's really good. Taritos, spicy sweet chili, good stuff right there. It's good flavor. There's a little kick to it, but it's kind of mild, nice. I would recommend this. Spicy sweet chili. I like the type of stuff, so... A spicy fucking chicken with pineapple. That's my type of stuff. I really like that type of, you know, food. Like chicken with pineapple. Orange chicken, like shit like that. This is what I like. That's my thing. Pineapple pizza. Yep. This kind of food I like. And that's not Russian. It's far away from it and I don't care. My mom told me today to start going to the gym. Maybe one of these days. Right now, I'm cheap and I don't have time and I just want to make money. I'm taking a couple days off next week. My girlfriend is coming in. I'm going to see her. I'm going to move in the hotel for three days this weekend. She's coming right to celebrate April 1st with me. Celebrate April 1st with my crazy stupid ass. She's coming the day before that on April 1st too. She's even on Monday the 3rd. So it's like a week from now. So a week from now I'm not gonna be here. So don't expect my pull-up video next Sunday, that's for sure. I know if I will be making videos while she's there, she doesn't want to be in my videos. So I'm not pressing her for that. I actually respect it, you know. I just do these videos for myself because this is what I like to do here and there. And I lost monetization a year ago, so I'm not even getting paid for it. But you know, sometimes I still like to do what I like to do. So I make these videos, no matter what. Even if I don't get a lot of views, I still do it just for the fuck of it. in the hotel next week and just gonna chill I took couple days off of work I took Monday off like next week in my warehouse job I'll only be working like two days now this coming week this week I'll work like normal I'm gonna have my day off on Saturday last Saturday I actually worked I came one hour late but I don't care I came to work on my day off so fuck it I feel like sleeping in 
a little longer. So it's supposed to be there at 4.30, I came at 5.30. But like I said, it's all good because it was my day off. I was not even supposed to come. I decided to come for extra hours. This Saturday, it's my day off. I'm not coming to work for obvious reasons. But then the following Monday, I took off. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, the following week, I work. And then I just took off Thursday, Friday because it's a Passover. And uh, my rabbi told me, even though you're not religious Jew and you don't care about nothing, and you know, my beliefs are you should be Jewish. The healthy amount of Jewish blood lies between 25 and 75 percent because I'm 70 percent Jewish myself. And I want my kids to be like Jewish, but I want them to be like maybe like half Jewish, some shit like that, something healthy. I don't want to be them too Jewish. So, but it's just my thing, you know. But outside of that, you know, outside of that, you know, he told me if you don't care about nothing, you should go to Passover for the Seder, you know, because this is the time, you know, when Jewish people left Egypt and all of that, supposedly. But I don't know who the Jewish people are, because when I look at history, there is people who were like old Hyksosis, and I wonder if they were actually the Jews. The Hyksosis, the tribe which invaded Egypt. Well, I don't know. Really, he said that I need to come. At first, I was thinking, you know what, I'm not going to come, fuck this. But then I thought about it. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let me get like a couple of days off of work. Because I'm working early in the morning, so it's like, I'm going to go over there, eat some free food. Which is a good food, like matzo, you know, that's something I like from Jewish cuisine. Like, I really like matzo. It's really good. I would recommend, even for Goish people, you know, matzah is good. Matzah, horseradish, maror, all of that shit. Well, maror is actually is a horseradish, FYI. Maror with haroset. Haroset is like sweet with bitter. It's like some Jewish tradition, but anyway, it don't matter. I kind of want to go, so I thought about it. I'm like, fuck it, I'll go. Even though I don't like to go to the place because it's stupid, but, you know, people actually are all right. I like people over there, but they just some bullshit. I don't like them. People are all right. And some of them don't even care about purity of Jewish blood. Like, there's one guy I like over there. He's Israeli. He married a Filipino woman, and he has two beautiful daughters, and he has a beautiful wife, too. So... You have similar tastes in women, because like when I looked at his wife, I'm like, damn, that's a beautiful ass woman. She's like the same age as my woman too. You know, she's like 40. But she, 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 she's a really good looking woman, like damn. That man has a good taste, I can tell. Like he don't care about ethnic purity of Jewish blood either. And he seems like a nice guy, so. And there are other people who are good in that synagogue too. There are a lot of good people over there, but it just I don't like to go that of, there that often because of the bullshit, so But I like the people. People are right. And the buy over there is alright too. I get along with him just fine. There are certain things I don't like, the way he leaves the services, for example. How he shuts people down, I don't necessarily agree with it, but when I talk to him, we kind of agree on a lot of other things. I may not like his approach, but I see where he's coming from, so he's good. There are other good people go there, so I'm cool. Even my girlfriend, who is like African, she said that she wants to go to synagogue to see how it is. We've been together for what? Almost 11 years now. No kids, no nothing, but some people say with all this relationship and all of that, I should get somebody else, but. 
I'm not really worried about that. Right now, with all the bullshit going on, last thing I'm worried about getting pussy. As a matter of fact, if I was a single man and I discredit my woman and say fuck it, or if I say fuck you, I can just get pussy, I can cheat on all of that. Okay, cool. I'll pay for it. But the way people act around me, shit. I want nothing to do with a bitch who will tell me how to be, how to act, and shit like that. Like, I wouldn't, wouldn't even want to be with her. The only relationship I can have with this bitch like that, here. You see $100 bill? Shut your fucking mouth, spread your legs, and let's do it. And keep your mouth shut, don't tell me shit. Here is the money, mind your business. I give you the money, you buy shit for your retarded kids, and I don't give a fuck about you. That's the only way I can deal with women like this right now. That's it. If I was a single man, if I really want to get some pussy, but right now I'm looking at it like, well, I don't care. I can see my woman like what every other month or whatnot. We can do it. It's like, fuck it. I'm not worried about it. I don't care about it. But if I really cared, if I really wanted to get some, that's how I would do it. I would just give the woman money and tell you, spread your legs and shut the fuck up. Don't tell me nothing. And if you want to do whatever you want to do, I don't give a fuck. Here. Straight up transaction. I won't deal with the bullshit. I won't hear to tell me nothing, criticizing me. I won't hear none of that shit. If she thinks differently than me, she's a fucking bitch. I want nothing to do with her. That's it. That's just how I roll. I'm not, I'm not dealing with the fucking bitches. Bitches are here to suck a dick and that's it. That's what they're for. You do what I want, you shut the fuck up. If I have problems, instead of telling me any fake fucking criticism, you just adjust to me and do what I want. If not, you fucking bitch, I want nothing to do with you. That's my opinion on women, that's it. No different opinion is tolerated. You can do what you want, I let you do what you want, I don't care what you're doing, as long as you give me what I want. But if you tell me what to do and how to live my life, that's it. I'm cutting you off right away. Because I have no tolerance for that kind of bullshit, so... That's it. I don't care about society, I don't care about norm, nothing. Here's what I want, give me what I want and shut the fuck up. That's it. And if you don't like it, if you think that this is not the right way, I want nothing to do with you. That's it. That's how I roll. And I don't care. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. Like, to me, I just want to go to fucking work, get the fucking money, you know, build up my account and just try to enjoy life without, like, you know, enjoy my freedoms if I can and just, like, mind my business, you know, do my own thing. That's what I want to do. So... And other people can do what they want. Like before, when I was young and dumb, I was like, hey, no, you acting weird, you this, you that. Trying to say, oh, you acting dumb, whatever, because that's how I felt. But then I'm like, you know what? These are people, they're different people. Sartor said, hell is others. So, yeah, they don't understand me, I don't understand them, perhaps. But I shouldn't be running my mouth telling people shit. And they have their opinions, they have their ideas. This is what freedom is all about. This is what America is all about. You can be free, you can do what you want. You can have a life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. So you can have a job, you're not gonna fire you, you're just gonna do the work. But if you don't do things the way we like, or whatnot, we're just not gonna be with you. And that's okay, that's part of the freedom too, you know? But I was thinking before that, what does mean freedom? Freedom, it's like everybody should be the same. And you know, if, if everybody would be the same, the world would be so much easier to live in. We wouldn't be, have so much fighting, so many wars. Because you know, when it comes to my perspective, because people are different, that's like a problem with them. Because they don't let me do what I want, they criticize me, and I'm thinking about hurting them and all of that. But if you all will be the same, you wouldn't have that problem. People just like, do their own thing, do the same thing, everybody will be friends, everyone will get along, you'll be, we will be living in so much better world than we live in now, if people would be the same, but unfortunately that's not the case, that's why, you know, people can only be with certain people, but not with others. And that's the world, you know, that's the, the way the world is designed, so there's nothing can be done about it, so it is what it is. It is what it is. So, 
subscribe to deal with it. And before I was not good with dealing with it, but now I'm like, you know what, it's all good. I just don't let things bother me anymore. And people used to tell me that a lot. They say, don't let things bother you. I just couldn't. But then now I'm like, okay, yeah, that's right. That's the best way. That's, that's just what it is. It was hard lesson for me to learn, but I think that I probably mastered that lesson by now. That's why if people don't want nothing to do with me, they walk out. Instead of like getting mad and upset and thinking, oh my God, how nice it would be, you know, to have friends and have fun and get drunk. I'm like, eh, who cares? I just can do my own thing. And if people don't like it, if they think that you shouldn't be like this or whatnot, well, it's better to be alone than to be with the wrong people. Because what, if you're with the wrong people, what? They're gonna be bullying you all the time and you're just gonna get angry. It's not fucking worth it, you know? It's not worth it. It's only gonna be more problems this way. It's gonna lead to fights. And before, that's why I was like trying to do martial arts. Because I want to be big and strong, so people fuck with me and can fuck somebody up. But now I'm like, you know what, this shit is not even worth it. If I can go to work, mind my business, people understand me, let me do my job, they tolerate me, I don't need all of that shit, you know. I don't need to fight anyone, really. So, as long as, you know, I have a fucking paycheck and I can, you know, have money and I can buy what I want and do what I want, life is good, you know. And if people don't want to deal with me because of the way who I am and fuck if you know they have a right so I cannot blame them for that even though I would like to blame them for that because I'm not getting my way but I really can't so it is what it is I just have to do me and my my business and do whatever makes me feel good that's all and let people do whatever they make them feel good I stay in my lane they stay in their lane that's all life is good that way it's better that way, so. Just like these two people with their beautiful dog. You know, I like dogs, by the way. Dog was almost on camera, too. And I don't mind it, because, you know. Like I said, I like dogs. I just bought my girlfriend a dog about a month ago. It's a really nice small dog. They have a big dog. And my woman, she has like a small dog, so. It's a nice little dog. Even though me, myself, I like Terrier. She got kind of a Yorkie type of dog. That's what she likes. She likes dog dogs with big hair but like me nah i'm i mean i like kind of you know like terrier looking dog you know like small dogs but i like them you know to be like with short hair i like them to be like you know like brown or black you know terriers are fucking beautiful you know this this beautiful little dogs i fucking love them if i if i could i would have a little dog myself they're beautiful so I'm a dog person, I like dogs, I don't really like cats that much. Cats are freaking annoying and stupid, but dogs, yeah, they, they, they're cool, they're cool. So. Now the people are leaving at school. I don't really want to talk to them. I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to make my video. I'm not here getting to people's faces. None of that shit. Still worldwide does it that. I don't. I don't want to be people saying hard to me or getting annoyed by me. Still worldwide likes it. I don't. I would rather be by myself, do my own thing, than dealing with people who treat me like I'm fucking stupid and I do, and you know, by getting into their faces. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting to nobody's faces, okay? I'm not even gonna do that damn shit. I look at people, think about things. If I connect to people, if I vibe with them, I go with them. If not, I don't do it. 
I'm not going over there getting to people's faces so they're gonna treat me like I'm a fucking idiot, like a Vasburgers or whatever, which is, I don't know, which is not even the right thing to do anyway. Doing pranks on people, saying ha ha ha, it's funny, ha ha ha, nah. If you're fucking retarded, if you don't vibe with people, why should pe people have anything to do with you? You're just saying you're fucking lame. I would rather do that. I'm not still worldwide. I'm not doing that shit. He's not gonna make friends like that anyway. I already have seen how he almost got beaten up for expressing his views. Even though he was just kidding, but still. Some people don't take shit from people. They don't take jokes well. Because certain jokes can be really offensive to some people, so... That's why I mind my business. Because I know that if I'm gonna be running my mouth, I can offend a lot of people, even if I don't wanna necessarily do it. So that's why I say less, and I don't bother nobody, I just stay in my fucking lane. And as long as I fucking have a job, and roof over my hand, and woman whom I can deal with, I don't care, you know? I don't care, I'm cool, I'm cool, so I'm not bothering nobody, I'm not doing it, because if I do that, instead of getting pussy and good things, I'm probably going to get beaten up, or people's going to tell me to get the fuck out of here, or we call the police on you, why do I need that shit in my life, I don't. Not doing that shit, not getting to... Not get into people's faces. As a matter of fact, when other people are doing that stupid shit, that even irritates the shit out of me too. Because I see how wrong it is, and I see the reaction, and I'm like, you know what? I would rather be all by myself than bother other people. You know? I don't want to bother nobody. But if I'm bothering other people, it's not going to be good for me anyway. I'm not gaining nothing out of that stupid behavior, you know. Acting like a buffoon is not going to get me anywhere, so I'm not doing it. Fuck it. And I don't care if, even if it's trending. I'm still not doing it. Because I don't like it. And I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. I don't like it and that's it. They just said, period. I'm not doing this buffoonery, you know, I'm just not. It's not gonna get me anywhere, I already know that. And it's not something I wanna do anyway. Fuck it. Wow, that's shit. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Oh my God, it's past 30 minutes again, and I'm still not done. Sorry guys, but hopefully you'll watch this like 10% of this video. If you can put up with me for like three minutes, God bless you. Now, it's time to get it done. Approaching the swill, 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 swill. I'm gonna sit down to do that shit. You need to see me close. Killing this wheel. No promises, but I will try this time. For real, for real. A little bit of beach foam coming out, but rather than that, done deal. I actually kind of killed this wheel. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Gonna keep this video under 35 minutes. It is by a couple seconds, so peace. Later on, guys. Yep.